Hello, I'm Mrs Webb, the head teacher at Gosford Central Middle School. If your child is currently in year four in a first school, you will be making a decision very soon about the next stage of their education. For some of you, this is going to be very straightforward. You may have a child who is already with us at Gosford Central Middle School, and therefore you'll want your younger child to follow in their footsteps. For those of you whose child is in year four and is, their, is your oldest child, you may not know so much about the school. And therefore, I'm really going to spend a bit of time explaining a little bit about the school to help you make that decision uh, when it comes to applying for the next stage of your child's education. Gosford Central Middle School is part of the Gosford Schools Trust and we work really collaboratively with all schools in the Gosford Schools Trust to build on the excellent work that first schools have already done in making sure that children are part of a system where there are extremely high standards and children are getting the best uh, opportunities available throughout their time at school. You will know from our admissions policy that our pupil admission number for each year group is 128 pupils. That gives us four classes uh, normally. However, recently our schools in group A have expanded and this year, our current year fives, we are now at five forms of entry. Therefore, for September 2021, we hope to continue to go over our published pupil admission number of 128 and offer that extra class. So we're working, as I said, very closely with the local authority and the PFI company to do that so that we will have room for those additional pupils when your child comes in September 2021. We are a really inclusive and caring school and I'm particularly proud of the high levels of pastoral care that our children receive at Gosford Central Middle School. We are, um, children are arranged in form classes of 30 pupils in each form class and for most subjects they will be in those mixed ability groups of 30 with the exception of sometimes maths and English which are ability groups but those can change each year depending on the abilities of the year group and for some practical subjects such as technology so that we can keep class sizes smaller uh, in that case class sizes are often split between three members two classes might be split between three members of staff to keep those classes a bit smaller for practical subjects. In terms of the pastoral care, each form class has a form teacher who registers them in the morning and in the afternoon and looks after all their past, all your child's pastoral needs. In addition to the pastoral care, there is a head of year for every year group who also oversees the well-being of all children in that year group. The well-being and mental health of our pupils is particularly important to us here at Gosford Central Middle School and now in these difficult times more so than ever. We have a pastoral lead, Miss Wood, who works with children on a one-to-one -one basis and in small groups to offer those therapeutic interventions to support children's well-being. At this present time we know that children can be more anxious than usual and that's something that we are working very hard at the moment to ensure that children's anxiety levels are managed and children you know feel safe and happy and their mental health and well-being is as positive as possible in school. So we have our form teachers and our heads of year in terms of the pastoral team, but the beauty of uh, middle school is that we have both primary and secondary specialist teaching staff, which makes the access to curriculum fantastically rich and varied. Our heads of department, uh, there are heads of department for every subject in the school and their job is to oversee the performance of children in their subject. So the performance of all children in the school in their subject. In addition, they will be working with class teachers to make sure that the subject is taught in an engaging, in innovative and exciting manner so that children make great progress. We are really proud of the fact that our teachers at Gosford Central Middle School teach the subjects that they have fantastic subject knowledge in and have a real passion and interest in. That means our children at school get a really good deal because they're getting taught by staff who have a real vested interest in that subject or subjects. 
In addition to our teaching staff and the pastoral care, we also have a senior team of four members of staff. So that's myself as the head teacher. We have Miss Smith, who's the deputy head teacher and in charge of teaching and learning. Mrs. Good, who is our head of inclusion, and Miss Walker, who is also an assistant head, who is in charge of curriculum and assessment and also leads Key Stage 2 Mathematics. Our SEND pupils are also very well supported by our SENCO, Mrs. Kennard, and the important thing for us at, at Gosford Central Middle School is that SEND pupils do have that bespoke support to make sure that their needs are well met and catered for in the school. I think the most important thing about Gosford Central Middle School is that it gives an opportunity for children to really find out their strengths and what their interests are and develop those passions that will go on hopefully throughout their lives. We offer a really broad, rich and varied curriculum underpinned by some extra curricular activities that are exciting and are always tailored to what the children want to do so it will suit their passions, their interests. We are also rapidly developing our online learning and we are making sure that our classrooms are fit for 21st century learning. Uh, this term, for instance, we are actually getting rid of our old interactive smart boards and replacing them with smart TVs, which are the latest in digital technology and can really make those classrooms uh, absolutely relevant for 21, 21st century teaching and learning. In the absence of an open evening, which we cannot possibly have to keep everybody safe in these difficult times, we're hoping that this information will really help you make a decision. But what I would urge you to do is look at our website and look at all the different links and activities and information so that it gives you a real flavour of the school. And I really hope that helps you to make that decision about whether your child is going to come to us uh, in September 2021 at Gosford Central Middle School. I very much hope they do and I'm really looking forward to meeting your children when hopefully next year uh, when you have applied for a place at our school. Thank you so much for listening and please don't hesitate to contact us if you need any further information. Thank you.